Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel today. So, before I even start this video, I just want to say I meant to make this video around it two years ago, but I never got around to it. And here we are, making it today, almost two and a half years later after I promised to make it. So, in today's video, we are running the first version of Windows 10 ever created. We are running Windows 10 1507. So, this version of, of Windows 10 came out eight years ago, back in 2015. This was the first ever public build of Windows 10. The first ever one that came with computers with Windows 10. So my goal in uh, today's video is I'm going to be trying to see how usable this version of Windows 10 is in the year 2023. So if I had to predict, I would say it might be usable. I don't think too many things are going to run on it because earlier builds of Windows 10 are practically just Windows 8.1 with a custom theme so I have two things I want to try real quick so if I have to ever loads goddamn took a long time so I have Chrome and Firefox and I want to see if these web browsers run so I'm gonna be trying to run the uh, latest version of Chrome and the latest version of Firefox so if we try to run Chrome let's see what happens here I would be shocked if it actually downloads the latest version of Chrome I would kinda of be flabbergasted I can't lie Download. Is it really just gonna work like that? <coughs> God, this freaking flu is kicking my ass. All right, let's let this thing download. So, if I had to say my experience with Windows 10, it was a pretty good experience. I can't lie. You know, it it had its ups and downs. This OS only has around two years of life left, but when you optimize 10, the OS actually ran pretty good. I can't can't lie. And wow, just like that, the latest version of Chrome runs on the earliest build of Windows 10. So if we go into the, let's go into the Chrome options, where can we see about Chrome, about Chrome. This is the latest version of Chrome on Windows 10 1507. I don't know why, but that, that, that just blows my mind, dude. So, what browser am, I cannot type this freaking using, dude, am I using... Let's see here. What browser am I using? You're using Chrome 117. This is shocking. I did not think a version of Windows 10 that's eight years old would be able to run Chrome 7, Chrome 117. That is like that's pretty shocking. All right, so let's try Firefox now. Firefox, Firefox installer. Optimizing your speed for privacy. Optimize speed, privacy, and safety. So if Chrome works, I don't have any any reason to believe why, why Firefox wouldn't work. So that means if Chrome works, that means other things will work, like like uh, di Discord, Steam, Epic Games. So I'm gonna try those things out later on, but I just want to see. If, and wow, Firefox and Chrome both work on Windows 10 15.07. I did not expect that. I really thought it was going to be capped off from around like a Chrome version of like four years ago, to 100% honest. I did not think that we would be able to run two modern web browsers on a version of Windows that's damn near 10 years old. That just blows my mind. Okay, so before we get on with the software, how is this OS d different from Windows 10 at 22H2? So, for example, this is probably the biggest one, the start screen. So, this is what we were dealing with with Windows 10 15.07. So, I'm not going to lie. For the first ever Windows 10 start screen, it was alright. Kind of ass, in my opinion. I just... <coughs> <coughs> God damn, excuse me. I apologize. I am sick as hell right now. But, I feel like a lot, uh, the big reason why people did not, not like 10 off the jump is that it just looked like a toy. Like... It did not look like a professional OS. Like it just did not look like something people would want or would want to run on their computer. So if you come into the start menu, you have ads and shit for the for the Microsoft Store, Xbox app. And I feel like that's why people did not like 10 off the jump because I feel I feel like it just pushed itself out there too much with the updates, things like that. You were practically forced to upgrade to Windows 10. I remember I had my computer. It was running Windows 8.1, perfectly fine. And then one day I come home from school, you know, I was in like fourth grade, I had homework I had to do. 
I tried to use it, and it upgraded to 10, and I kept getting a blue screen of death. At that time, I did not know how to work with computers, so I had to, I had to send my computer in for a week to have it downgraded back to Windows 8.1. And that was kind of fun times, can't lie, but I feel like that was the biggest reason why Windows 10 was not good for the first two to three years. And I feel like that's kind of why uh, Windows 11 isn't really doing that well now. If we head over to OS Mar Market Share right now, so OS, Mar I, I, I am kind of getting off topic here, but I kind of just want to make a point a little bit. So Windows, let's head on over to Windows Market Share. So Windows 11 currently has 23% market share, and Windows 10 has 71.64. So this was kind of the trend we saw with Windows 10 and Windows 7 back when Windows 10 first came out. A lot of people did not want to upgrade to 10 just because they just did not like what they see. And it was like this up until around, I believe, 2019. Up until 2019, more people were running Windows 7 than they were Windows 10. And I feel like that's going to be the same way with Windows 11 until the end of life for Windows 10 comes. Because people have already gotten used to Windows 10. They're going to be running that OS till the dawn of time, or until 2025 when the OS ends. And there is still 0.34% of people running Windows XP, those brave souls. So let's go, let's also go over what else is different besides from the start menu. So if we head on over into the options, we can see this looks a lot different from what you would have in Windows 10 at 22H2. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda do like this a tiny bit better because as you can see, it's just everything you would need. It just has your ease of access, devices, network internet, updated security. Let me disable Windows Update. I do not want to have this thing updated to a later version of Windows 10 at all. So this OS is pretty different. So can we still access the Microsoft Store? I don't think it's going to let me because I'm not logged into a Microsoft account, but I want to see if it's... Yeah, no, it is. It is not up. I, I, I would have been flabbergasted the most by that. And then we have the old Task View icon. Which, I'm not going to lie, this one was the better task view icon. These older builds of Windows 10 for sure had the way better task view icon compared to whatever it is now in 22H2. I don't know why they changed that. So, then we have the old Microsoft Edge. So, I don't know what this was based off, but it was not based off Chrome, I can tell you that much. I think it was Microsoft's own engine, and it was a flop. Like, this version of Microsoft Edge could not compete with Chrome. It was slower than almost every web browser, even Firefox. It was slower than Firefox. So this version of Edge was almost, or it was, it kind of was a complete flop because Microsoft tried to make their own web browser a tiny bit too quick and it was just not good. It did not end up doing well. So what else, what else should we go over in this fine dandy operating system? All apps. So we'll, let's take a look at what comes pre-installed. So you have a calculator, calendar, camera, contact support, Cortana, that never really panned out, alarms and clocks, office, groove music. So kind of the same thing you would have installed on Windows 10 today. It's basically just practically everything you would have installed. So does the Xbox app work? I wonder. Imagine. Um, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna imagine it does not. Oh, are you serious? Ain't no shot. Okay, well, I guess the Xbox the Xbox app would still work if I was logging on my Microsoft account. That's pretty interesting to know. So, would I recommend running this in the year 2023? I so I take back kind of what I said earlier. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with app compatibility. I think it's gonna mainly be with driver compatibility. So, if you try to in if you try to install this OS on anything later than 20. 18 hardware, I'm going to assume you're going to have a hard time doing so, because I don't think any developer made drivers for, for, for versions of Windows 10 this early. I think the last version of 10 you can, in, you can install on modern hardware is Windows 10 1809, which is the version that is used for LTSC 2019. So that's probably going to be your best bet if you want to run a, a old build of 10, but if you have hardware from the year 2015, 18, I would say it could work, but it is definitely up in the air. It could honestly be a coin toss to go either way. So I'm going to try to download Steam on here. That is what, what I want to know if that works. 
Because it, if it does, like, this OS could genuinely be an OS that people use to run games on. Because I feel like, you know, because of the age of the OS, it is probably way lighter than, than any other build of, of 10 or 11 today. So if, if I head into my task manager right now, how much RAM are we using only? We're really only using 1.6 gigs of RAM. So, I mean, it could definitely be a, a OS that people with more lower-end computers might want to run because wow that's actually interesting i'm pretty sure in 10 if i were to have a modern version of 10 on my computer it would probably be eating up four gigs on idle without me doing anything so let's try see if we can see i think it's really gonna work get steam up and running on this thing play some games so that's also uh that's also a guy that that was right there but that's also another thing too is i don't think every game is going to be able to run on this old of a build of windows 10. I think a lot of uh, n newer games will not work on this build of 10. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I do not know if this build of Windows 10 supports DirectX 12 or not. It might, but I feel like it might only support a very early Im implementation of DirectX 12. I do not think it supports the builds of DirectX 12 used today. So let me Google that. Is does the X Twelve work on Windows 10, 15, and 7. Let's see here. If it ever loads. So I can't really get a direct answer here. So can't really get a uh, direct answer, but grade. Yeah, can't really. So uh, I w I think DirectX 12 would work because it's on Windows 10. DirectX 12 came out in around 2015, so yeah, it probably would be implemented, but games probably would not run. I feel like a lot of newer games would not run, and I feel like that's the case with any OS. Because I feel like drivers probably aren't updated for this build of Windows 10. So that's also uh, another thing to keep in mind, that if you have older, if you have older hardware, this OS would probably be a, a good choice to run but your drivers probably won't be getting updated at all. It's like the same thing if you try to run Windows 8.1 or Windows Windows 7. You're probably not going to be able to get driver updates for those operating systems anymore. And that's probably going to be the same thing for Windows 10 1507. But as you can see, things run on this OS. Firefox runs, Chrome runs, Steam runs. How about good old Discord? I have no reason to believe that that would not that would not run. So let's try that real quick. Your place to hang out. Down the Discord. Let's see if this thing runs. Discord seven. <coughs> All right, just gotta wait for that to load. God. Even my burp sound fucking distorted, bro. No, God damn it, I don't want to fucking... Installation fail. Oh, wait. No, it's updating. Thought we came into our first curve zone, but nope, we did not. So, yeah, everything runs on Windows 10 15.07. I am shocked by that. I thought... That we were gonna have a hard time getting things up up and running on this build of Windows 10, but nope, we do not. So yeah, as we can see right here, everything runs. I don't really feel like there's anything anything else I would need to show. Chrome runs, Firefox runs, and that practically means everything else would probably run too. If Chrome runs, which almost everything like Steam, Discord, all that stuff is is using Chrome for their AI. Or not AI. I'm so sick I can't even give you guys a proper explanation. Chrome, so they're like, it's just based off Chrome. Like, it runs the engine on Chrome. So, if it works, it can probably run almost any game engine. Or, no. Almost any game application. Oh my freaking god. Anything like Steam or Discord. Alright, there. Finally, I fucking was able to say it after getting it wrong for a solid three and a half hours. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.